For the past 10 years, the African continent has been home to the world's fastest growing economies. The continent is also home to the fastest growing cities that are said to become future mega cities with millions of inhabitants. This is because Africa contains all the necessary resources for such growth, be it skilled and educated manpower or vast natural resources. All these factors come together to bring about such fast changes and the result of that is having the future global superpowers right here on the continent. In this video, we will try to look at some of the countries that have the potential to be future superpowers on the continent. Rwanda. Rwanda is a landlocked country straddling Central and East Africa. It borders Uganda to the north, Tanzania to the east, and the Congo to the west. The country is emerging as a leader in tourism and a net exporter of coffee on the continent. Rwanda has also quickly embraced new and emerging technologies, becoming home to African startups and leading the continent in drone technologies, manufacturing, and renewable energy technology. Rwanda's greatest resource is our population. The country realized this 20 years ago and has been investing in education for its young population to be a leader in service industry. The country is already emerging as a leader in hotel and conferencing in the region. Rwanda also has a goal of being the leader in air transport hub in Africa, capitalizing on its tech savvy population. This will position Rwanda to be a future superpower on the continent. Somalia Somalia is a country located in the Horn of Africa on the East African coast. The country borders Ethiopia to the west and Kenya to the southwest. Somalia is said to have the longest white sand coastline in the world and as such has the potential to become the leader in beach resort tourism, rivaling destinations like Tunisia. The country is said to have the largest fish resources in Africa, majority of which is stolen through illegal fishing. Besides the fishing industry, Somalia is the leader in livestock export on the continent. The country also has 200 billion barrels of proven natural gas reserves and massive crude oil potential on both its offshore and onshore fields. Somalia's fish industry, if well managed, can be second only to China, and the natural gas fields, if well developed, can have the potential to position the country as a future superpower on the continent. Uganda Uganda is a landlocked country in East Africa. It borders Kenya to the east, Democratic Republic of Congo to the west, and Rwanda to the south. Uganda has the youngest population in the world. The country has the potential to be a superpower through export of its vast crude oil finds. The country has the third largest proven crude oil reserve in Africa. Uganda also has large, productive arable land and several freshwater lakes, among them the largest lake in Africa, the Lake Victoria. The country has the potential to be a leader in manufacturing, especially with cheaper electricity from hydropower and available raw materials. The biggest game changer in Uganda's continental dominance, however, is the upcoming crude oil refinery. Uganda is in final talks to construct a massive refinery to be refining its crude oil and export petroleum products to its neighboring countries. The crude oil refining, coupled with cheap electricity in Uganda, can position it to be a future superpower on the continent. Ghana 
Ghana is a country in West Africa on the Atlantic coast. The country is the second largest gold producer in Africa as well as the second cocoa producer. The country leads in industrialization in West Africa due to its developed road infrastructure, cheaper electricity, and a stable government. Ghana also has crude oil reserves in its offshore oil fields. The country enjoys the second largest diaspora remittances in Africa after Nigeria and is currently leading in foreign direct investment or the FDI. Ghana is a stable democracy with one of the highest literacy rates in Africa, with a stable government, massive natural resources, and a growing skilled population. Ghana is said to become a future superpower on the continent. Kenya. Kenya is a country in East Africa. The country is regarded as the economic powerhouse of East and Central Africa, a region that contains Ethiopia to the north of Kenya and Tanzania to the south. Kenya's political and economic influence stems from its stable democracy, which has enabled the country to concentrate on investing in education and industrialization. The country is a major transport hub in Africa with a busy airport that links East and Central Africa to the rest of the world. Kenya's Mombasa port is also the main port of entry for Uganda, South Sudan, Rwanda and Eastern Congo. The country is also known to have the most advanced and fast internet in the region which has positioned it as the leader in ICT and financial services in the region. With a highly educated population, coupled with a developed manufacturing sector, transport and services sector, Kenya is said to emerge as a future superpower in Africa. <music> Ethiopia Ethiopia is a landlocked country in East Africa. The country is the second most populous in Africa after Nigeria. The large population would provide the much-needed manpower and the market for future Ethiopian superpower. The country is the largest exporter of coffee in Africa. Ethiopia is also fast becoming a textile manufacturing hub in Africa. The country is currently constructing the world's largest hydropower dam along the Blue Nile. Once complete, it will be able to supply electricity to more than 1 billion people in East and Central Africa. The Ethiopian renewable electricity would also drive industrialization and manufacturing, providing cheaper electricity for industries. With a large population, the fastest growing economy, and cheaper electricity, Ethiopia is set to become a superpower in Africa. Tanzania. Tanzania is an East African country known for its vast game parks. The country is the fifth most populous in Africa. Tanzania is also endowed with all types of minerals, making the country the leading gold exporter in Africa and the only Tanzanite gem producer in the world. The country also has the second largest proven natural gas reserve in Africa. Tanzania is endowed with vast rich arable land that can turn the country into the largest food producer in the world. Besides that, Tanzania has the largest portion of Lake Victoria and Lake Tanganyika that can turn the country into a net exporter of fish. Tanzania has the potential to be a superpower in Africa if it manages its human capital and her mineral wealth resources. The Democratic Republic of the Congo. Every person who has internet by now knows that Democratic Republic of Congo is the richest nation on earth when it comes to minerals. 
Unfortunately, all these minerals are below the surface. Any part you point on a Diara Congo's map has some rich minerals, be it fresh water, gold, diamond, coltan, uranium, cobalt, name it. The southeastern region of Katanga is known for cobalt and copper. Northeastern is coltan, tin, and gold. The central and southern regions of Kasai has diamonds. Besides all this, Congo has thick forests teeming with wildlife and rich hardwood that can be well managed for economic benefit. DRC is planning to construct Africa's largest hydropower dam, known as the Inga Dam, that will generate electricity for 500 million homes. With this kind of minerals, coupled with political stability, Congo has the potential to become an African superpower. in Nigeria and the African continent. Lagos is a major financial center for all of Africa and is the economic hub of Lagos State. Lagos had just 70,000 people in